Hi, thanks for watching DD Curl with my favorite groomer. Some of y'all are ordering your clippers and you're getting the original monkey cords. More than likely you're going to need two of these, okay? When you order the monkey cord, in my opinion, you're going to want to take your power cord out of your clipper when you sit there for 20 minutes or an hour, raveling it all up. Why? Because I know firsthand, by ruining my power cord, that twisting it and flipping it in the casing will probably cause damage to the connectors in the clipper. So if you don't remove this power cord, in my opinion, that just might happen to you. So here in this situation, you want to get a Phillips screwdriver, which I happen to love tools, so I've got a bunch of different little tools here hanging out with me. And you can see here on the brand new AGC 2 speed, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you're going to come in here, make sure it's lined up. All right, so even this short, fat one here, it, it actually couldn't, it needed to be thicker here. So this, the Phillips that you need, see how, see how thin mine, this one is? This thin one was not going to work for me. So you have to have a thicker one. More meat to it to get up in there, into the grooves. Okay. But I also have my drill here. Let's see if it'll get it out of there like this. No, I gotta get them out. Let's over. Let's get them all loose first, and then we'll use our drill to really finish the deal out. So this is laying there. It's always good to take a picture too before you start if you don't have this video, especially for a different clipper. That way you can kind of remember where stuff goes. Okay, so that was there like that, right? Laying in here like this. You see these grooves right there like that? Okay, so remember that. Then you have your, that's, there you go, like that. And then let's double check here. Okay, so we need to actually take a flathead and loosen those two screws right there. There's these two screws right there. So now you need, you know, a real small flathead. Let's see if this, this one will work. Yes. You just turn it and then open it. You turn it and then... It'll be open and then, and then pull it out there. So now we have the white one here and the black one there, right? This would be a good opportunity to take notes. So the black one was on top. I'm going to write it on here. Black on top, white on bottom. So this lady, now she paid me to do this for her, so I got her original monkey cord here, she's got two of them, so I'm now going to take this. I didn't follow the instructions that they gave us last time before, I feel like I did well with it, the install, but let's just read what the directions do say. Gently remove all twists and bends in the electrical cord before installing it. Wrap the monkey cord evenly down the length of the cord, starting 12 to 18 inches down from the tool, which I don't like to do that. I did that before I started down here, and this, I noticed, was not, it was my, not my favorite. So I actually started right here at the base of the, the tool. 
starting it down here made this really heavy. This, if I start my purple here, but it says 12 to 18 inches down from the tool, which again, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna start it here. So we're gonna, it's gonna lay in like this. So we're gonna need to be like right here, right in here. We want this to stay as strong as possible to protect the wires on the inside. The more that this, that we flip, not only that, but this weight, the weight here, if it ends up having too much weight, causes a problem. Because I have ruined, my, just putting this on ruined, this cord is expensive too, ruined my cord. It didn't take but two weeks after I had put on my original monkey cord to, that it ruined it. Did I get something for free? No. Did I go call Anderson and get a new cord free? No. It was my, it was my fault. It was just, you know, you have to learn. And that's why I'm telling you guys how to do this. Starting 12 to 18 inches down from the tool, which I'm going to start here, working toward the plug. It should be wrapped tightly around the cord and must not slide, right? So you want to go in, like loop, loop, loop right next to each other. It is not intended to cover the entire cord. So don't worry if you've got some, some left over. But if you only get one cord, what I found is the end of the cord that's not wrapped, when it's really long, is, is going to still tangle. If necessary, if this is too long, cut it with, the, uh, cut it with scissors. Don't cut it first. I would wrap first and cut if you, if you end up running out. Monkey cord is a soft polyethylene material which is highly abrasive, abras abrasion resistant and is not affected by most solvents. You can see mine. Where's my clipper? Man, my clipper, I've had this on for like about three years now. See how I, this is my second run here. So, so I started it way up here. See, and this has been, this has been working for three years, about th almost three years right now. So it's nice, tightly wrapped. And then I did a tester on a, diff on a different cord and I tested it and gave myself some space. Oh no, you don't want to do that. That, that. that didn't work out for me very well. I tried to you know, utilize it all as best as I could. Okay, so now the, the only thing that makes me nervous is black, it was like this, black on top, white on the bottom, okay. I wonder if that matters, but I'm not electrical, so I did write some notes. So I'm going to lay it in there, black on top, white on bottom. Now, in order to flip, flip the cord, you can stand out here in the garage and do it, but I'm going to watch a movie while we flip the cord or watch news or something, okay? So we're going to go now, and we're going to go hang out and just watch me flip the cord. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're sitting here. We're going to watch a little bit of KERA, and it's all stretched out. Have it all laid out, stretched out on the floor. And here we go, we're gonna start wrapping it.
the difference between a cord with the monkey cord on, see how, how straight that is, and one without. Thank you for watching Dee Dee Cord with My Favorite Groomer, showing you how to wrap your monkey cord. You can pick up your monkey cord at myfavoritegroomer.com. Make sure you take off your power cord when wrapping your monkey cord around your power cord. You can use these monkey wraps around household items, irons if you have a long iron still with that. You can use it with your hair dryers. We've got a glow in the dark one that's pretty cool for household stuff. But it can be used in RVs I've heard. And these are just radical to keep your cords from looping around. Especially if you're a barber or a cosmetologist. I, I see a lot of people that don't, don't have them. And man, they're a lifesaver.